Welcome to Five Plan Partners educational vlog. And our topic today is education, education, education. And underneath that, I'll say college expense. I'm joined today by my distinguished colleague, Jason Hatley, uh, who is a CFP, CPA, and PFS, Personal Financial Specialist. Jason's done an incredible job analyzing 529 plans, which are savings accounts that can be used towards paying for college. Jason, thank you for being here. You have got some great explanations about new opportunities on excess 529 plans, but let's start off just with the simplicity. What's a 529 plan? So a 529 plan is a is a college education savings plan. Um, it's a specific kind of account that allows parents, grandparents, really anybody who's who's got a vested interest in someone's uh, future college education uh, to contribute funds to the account. Uh, it goes in as after tax dollars. Okay, but the assets themselves grow tax free as long as the distributions out of that account are used for qualified tuition uh, or, or qualified education costs, yeah. which would include tuition, books, uh, lab fees, you know, certain costs. So you know. as the father of uh, twin daughters, uh, you understand uh, as college approaches, got to take yeah. care of those things, true? Yeah, well, you know, I, I like to research the things that I know are going to affect me and, and a lot of <laughs> other people like me. So. Sure, well, as um, the father of three daughters. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I've been there. I've crossed that so, bridge. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of our clients have, have asked in the past about college savings through 529s, and we have, you know, typically advised them against overfunding 529s. Okay, sure. Uh, because of the difficulty of getting the funds back out in case that, uh, you know, you've, you've saved all these years for your, your kid's college and then they end up getting a scholarship. Right, and, very and, true. And the funds aren't, or, or all the funds that you've saved are not needed for the college education. And, you know, at that, traditionally, um, those excess funds would have either, you know, that there are options. I mean, you can, you can give those funds to another beneficiary within yeah. the family yeah. Um, so it could be another child, but it could be right. a nephew or niece or something. Right. Like, yeah. Right. And so you know, we, we've we've typically advised people to to avoid overfunding, yeah. but kind of giving them the advice that there are options in case that they do. Uh, a new option has come about as a provision of the Secure Act 2.0 that was passed as part of the larger Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2023 was passed in law back at the end of, of last year. Yeah, and you've done a lot of work on that research. Yeah, yeah, So and continue to do yeah. a lot of research. So um, this particular provision addresses the, the this issue of overfunding 529s uh, and allows a, an additional option uh, if you do have excess funds at the end of your, your child's college career that you can now roll over those excess funds oh, wow. into a Roth IRA for uh, that account beneficiary. Oh, wow. So you could do this for your kid. Yes. Your grandchild. Yes. yes. Depending on whoever's named as the beneficiary of the 529. Sure. Plan. That's huge. So a couple of things. Number one, this, this particular provision doesn't go into effect until 2024. Okay. Uh, which is, you know, no big deal. Next year, uh, you just, you know, if you had excess funds this year, you just wait till next year to start making the, the, the transfers. Um, a couple of other limitations. Uh, one, it has to be a, a direct trans trustee to trustee transfer from the 529 into the Roth okay, IRA. Okay, explain that a little bit more. Trustee yeah, so trustee. so you couldn't you know take a distri a cash distribution from the five twenty nine, and then turn around and put that into a, a, a Roth uh, IRA. Okay, you would have to an, arrange for the uh, the funds to be transferred directly from the five twenty nine plan to the, the trustee of the Roth. Okay, uh, Roth okay. IRA. Um, secondly, there's a limit. There's a lifetime limitation for each beneficiary. So you can only do this up to thirty-five thousand uh, dollars for any any one beneficiary. Okay, important number. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, second limitation is that that $35,000 has to be split over multiple years. So any single year transfer cannot exceed the normal Roth IRA contribution limit. That's an important factor. Yes, which, you know, for 2023, that's $6,500 for, uh, you know, a normal person who right. would be in the situation. Uh, so, you know, at that rate, and, and, and those, those contribution limits adjust upward from time to time, but at that current contribution limit um, uh, amount, mm -hmm. that would, you know, take roughly six years to, to be able to get up to the full 35,000. Right. So that's, that's kind of the time limitations. Uh, limitations around uh, the account itself. So first of all, it has to be uh, done from a 529 plan account that has been open and maintained for at least 15 years Ooh. prior to okay. uh, the, the date of the first transfer. Sure. So somebody with a young baby or whatever child yeah, yeah. go on and open it up so you right, can take advantage right. of that. Which, you know, the, the intent is for people who have saved for multiple years for yeah, their kids and right. then get pleasantly surprised with a, with a scholarship or other funding. Sure. Um, the other limitation is that uh, you can't use money that you've contributed within the last five years prior to the, the first transfer. Okay. So it has to be funds that have been in there for at least more than five years. Now, obviously, that kind of rolls over every year. So, right. Um, but working with somebody like Five Plan Partners, we're keep helping you keep up with that's that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we can help you to identify yeah. which funds so are available. So our viewers don't have to say, well, from how, here to, yeah, yeah. What, what kind of bookkeeping do I have right. here? We would, we would do that for them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So th those are kind of the terms and, and conditions around yeah. this. But it's, I mean... All in all, it's a great additional benefit. Yeah, the, this is all kind of come about through through language that's in a sixteen hundred plus page bill. Yeah, um, as usual, those those bills are, are you know include a lot of vagaries in the language. <laughs> right. uh, so I expect there to be a lot of yes, yeah, so a lot of, a lot of questions in the uh, interpretation sure. and then the application of this. Yeah. As it becomes more prevalent, but it, but it's a great um, way. It's a great way to help your child or grandchild out, or a yeah, niece, yeah. a nephew. Uh, you know, I'm sitting here thinking from the standpoint that you know, P Peggy and I, my wife Peggy and I, you know, with three daughters, we used to say uh, or look back on how many uh, uh, Barbie dolls were purchased and gifts given. This is a huge way for a grandparent or relative or to, to give a gift and have it put in the 529 plan right. for college, especially with that long-term benefit mm -hmm. involved. Because uh, so often when kids are so little, they don't really remember those gifts uh, anyway. I, I love to ask people, uh, so what'd you get for your uh, 14th birthday? And, you know, or what'd you get for your 10th birthday? Most people can't remember. Right. But it's a great way to to help a family or a couple or a, as a gift to, to really build this up. And then one day, if you can move that to a Roth IRA, mm -hmm. that's, that's it's huge. It is, yeah. it is big. The, ma the magic of compound interest mm -hmm. is alive and well there. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's great. Yeah. So, well, I think you've done a, a fantastic job in summarizing something that's very complex. We want to emphasize to everybody here at File Plan Partners that three words that we live by is effortless, limitless, and frictionless. And so when these opportunities come about, it's professionals like Jason and our other team members that go to all this effort to make sure that it's not complicated for our clients. Put, they put it in terms clients can understand. And then in the financial planning process, there's a roadmap as to how to use those funds and really make sure all your money is working for you. So we hope you found this to be very beneficial. Again, thank you, Jason. Thank you for your expertise. Uh, you know, the, the financial blueprints in relation to portfolios and, and families' future plans and education is one of them. It's, it's life-changing. Mm -hmm. And uh, here every day at Five Plan Partners, we're striving to see to it how we can make people's lives better, richer, fuller. And I think you've just gotten an idea today that is one of those ideas that can do that. We hope you have a great week. Please share this with others because there's others out there looking to figure out how they send their kids, grandkids to college. Thanks. Yeah.